students today we are going to uh, study markov model uh, before uh, studying markov model uh, let's uh, know uh, something about markov chains uh, markov chains are very similar to finite automata uh, in finite automata we have states and transition between these states the only difference between markov chains and finite automata is that in the markov chain we have we assign probabilities to every transition so here the probability of transition from healthy to fever state is 0.3 and the probability of transition from fever to healthy state is 0.4 so these are uh, called the transition probabilities the probabilities of transitioning between one state to the next uh, from one state to the next state so uh, this healthy state has two transitions one is from healthy to healthy it has 0.7 probability and the other is from healthy to fever and it is it has 0.3 probability uh, the point to be noted is that the sum of all the transition probabilities from a state is one so let's check this healthy state it has two transitions one is here and the other is here and the sum of the two is 0.7 plus 0.3 that is equal to 1 similarly let's uh, check this state the fever state it has two two transitions one is from fever to healthy it is that is 0.4 and the other, other is from fever to fever that is 0.6 and the sum of this 0.6 and 0.4 is also 1 so that was about transition probability the next very uh, important point is the initial prob probability what is initial probability uh, suppose this is a system which has two states and now which would be the starting state so to decide the starting state we define the initial probability so uh, let's let me show the whole picture so suppose we are here and we uh, so in the start we have to we have to decide which would be the first state to decide that we have this initial probability so the chances of being healthy in the start are 60 percent that is 0.6 and the chances of having fever in the start are 40 percent that is 0.4 the another point is that the sum of all the initial probability is also one so the, if this is the starting point and there are may be more than two uh, transitions from this point so the sum of all the initial probabilities will be one uh, all the states of the systems have some initial probability if any state has zero initial pro probability it means we can never start that system with that state which has zero initial probability so to further uh, elaborate or explain this concept let's uh, do some examples uh, assume uh, an epidemic spread in a village and keeping in view this diagram we have to compute uh, some probabilities suppose we have to compute the probability of being healthy 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 and healthy it means a person was healthy on the first day on the second day third day and fourth day so to compute this uh, probability we have to find the probability of being healthy in the start so for this problem uh, for this uh, uh, problem we will have to find the initial probability of being healthy in the start that is uh, 0.6 so we write 0.6 here and then on the second day he is also healthy so healthy to healthy probability healthy to healthy is 0.7 and on the third day he was also healthy so from healthy to healthy 0.7 and on the fourth day he was healthy so from healthy to healthy that is again 0.7 and the product of these four uh, values is 0 0.2058 so let's uh, solve another problem and we want to find the probability of a person that that was suffering from fever on the first day and then the, again fever on the second day and then on the third day he became healthy and on the fourth day he was again suffering from fever so the for this fever we will use the initial probability that the system will be in fever state in the start and that is 0 
so we write 0.4 here then from fever to fever uh, that is 0.6 right 0.6 here and then from fever to healthy and that is 0.4 so we write 0.4 here and then from healthy to fever this one healthy to fever that is 0.3 so we write 0.3 here so the product of these four values is 0.0288 so that's it in the next lecture we will study the hidden marker model where these actual states are hidden and we predict about these actual states by some observations